video, I'm going to talk a little bit about my background. Uh, a lot of people go to the Free From Hell channel on YouTube, to the Comp Support channel. They see this guy, me, talking about addiction and recovery. No clue what my background is. And uh, they question, who are you? What have you done? Why are you talking about this? What experience do you have? <clears throat> so let me just do a quick video on who I am, what I'm about, um, and a little bit about my story. <clears throat> I'm 31 years old. I'm from Tom's Room, New Jersey. I was addicted to oxycodone for three and a half, four years. Um, my highest point of use was a, a little over 500 milligrams per day. Um, I got <clears throat> to a point where I couldn't live like that anymore. And some chips fell where they did. And I was brought to a hospital. Okay. <clears throat> when I was in the hospital, I was met with a crisis counselor. And they interviewed me, found out that I had a planned suicide. Um, if I didn't go into the hospital when I did, I was kind of forced into the hospital. If I didn't go when I, when I did, <clears throat> two days later, I would have, uh, I had a planned suicide with oxycodone Adderall. I was going to take a bunch of it and, and end it. I was so depressed. Uh, my ego was so big that I didn't want to ask for help from anybody, but uh, the help came to me before I could. <clears throat> and when it did come to me, I was completely open to it um, because I just, I guess I needed somebody or a group of people to tell me, you know, it's, it's still worth it. Okay. And that's why I'm so big on telling all of you it's still worth it because I didn't see it at that time. And, um, a lot of people saved my life. <clears throat> okay. So when I was interviewed by the crisis counselor, they found out I had a planned suicide attempt. Um, <clears throat> and they uh, put me into a short-term care mental health facility and I was there for uh, about six days <clears throat> and after I left that that was on suicide watch for six days they were checking out my mental health seeing if um, I still wanted to hurt myself and at, when I was in there I started to realize you know what maybe I do want to live there is some stuff to live for after I left the mental health facility I went to Salvation Army Adult Rehabilitation Center of Manhattan. Um, that place saved my life, hands down. <clears throat> That's why I'm such a big um, advocate, so to speak, for them. Because a lot of people don't have insurance, they don't have money, they can't go away um, because they don't have the means financially. And the great thing about the Salvation Army is that it's free. You go there, you work for them, and they provide you with three square meals, some help, and um, you're surrounded by amazing people, okay, that are in recovery, that can teach you a lot about life. And uh, what I learned inside the, that building from the other men there saved my life hands down. Um, it was one of the greatest experiences I ever had, if not the greatest experience. <clears throat> from that point, um, I left there and I started writing a blog on freefromhell.com. And that's my son screaming. He's a year and a half old, so I do my best to keep him quiet. Um, I, I wrote on the blog, and the blog got pretty big. A lot of people started emailing me. And I gave out my phone number, and I reached all around the United States. From that point, I decided, you know what? <clears throat> I'm going to create a social network with some help from uh, some, some people that were smarter than me. Um, helped me out with it, and uh, I launched FreeFromHell.com, which is a free social network for people that are looking for uh, for help. It's got a real-time chat room, thousands of members, amazing people on there that have been through recovery. And since then, um, I started Comp Support, which is the the all organic, all natural um, supplement to help with withdrawal symptoms. And I get dedicate pretty much almost all my free time to answering phone calls, emails, texts, you name it. Um, I also I'm an avid runner. Uh, I'm going to be running the state of New Jersey, 184 mile run in August. Um, I used to run ultra marathons all the time. Took about a three year break. Had a health scare this past summer, and uh, which almost took my life. I had blood clots in my lungs, one in my leg, and that decided, made me get back into the running game again. <clears throat> so that's a quick rundown of who I am, what I'm about. My main concern is my family. Uh, and helping people, plain and simple. Uh, I think that's why I was put here, is to be a voice for a lot of people that um, don't want to speak up 
and that that's completely fine. A lot of people like being anonymous. I felt the need that I needed to come out and um, and just help as many people as I possibly could, because uh, I mean, I'm not the type of guy that has a, a ton of friends. All right, I, I dedicate my life to my family and helping people, and um, it's doing me well. All right, so uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below the video and um, check out some more videos. Thanks.